Hi, this is PDF Bergzer Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 250. Uh, this is the first installment of our character panel, at least displaying the stats in game. So let's go ahead and start Unity up. I'm going to start off in my tutorial scene here. And what we're going to be working on is well, when I start it up, uh, we're going to start off just by displaying our character's attributes underneath the attribute panel. So let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is have that character panel display by default. Uh, just so I don't have to keep turning it on. Uh, so this is the loot window, inventory window, character window variables. So right here where it displays. I'll set that to true. I'm going to turn my caps lock off. And I also want to make sure that things are actually displaying there in the uh, panel. I want to see if I have to set it up. So I'm going to come to the display attributes part and I'm just going to simply throw in a GUI label. And there's nothing special about this. I just want something up there to see if it's displaying. And I'm just going to display the text label. And to position it, I'm just going to go say, I don't know, 10, 10, uh, 50 by 25. And I'll just save that off. And we'll let it compile, start it back up. And when I hit uh, tribute, there we go. It's showing up right there. I'm um, obviously going to have to move that down. Another way we can do it is work with a, an area. I set up some sort of area to do, that we can work within. And I think that will probably be the best way. So we'll use, I've, I've, I'm pretty sure we've used areas before, GUI areas. So let me just start this off. Uh, GUI dot begin area or begin group it's called and of course it's going to want a rec position so we'll just say new rec and where do we want this so I'm going to bring it in five from the left I'm going to bring it down oh let me see the other one was 25 let me just take a look here uh, the other one was 10 down uh, so we're probably going to want, what, 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 down. So we'll start there. Uh, how wide we want this? Uh, I want it to be as wide as this whole panel, uh, minus some sort of offset. So if I'm using 5 for an offset, I'd want to subtract 10. So I'm going to see where my actual character window is, what variable we have, and see if we actually have its width stored as a variable. So I'm going to come up, um, let's see, we have the loop window, inventory window, character window. And I do have the width right here. And it looks like I can, I should just be able to access it just by going through that. So I'm going to come back down. I'm just going to shrink up my tool tips. Eventually I will want to redo those. Uh, but right here we're going to say character window, or sorry, it's character window rec minus 10 or whatever we have set for an offset. I'm not sure if I actually have an offset set up here. Actually, I do. And I have it set to 10. Uh, 10 might be a little much, but for now, we'll just keep using it. So what we're actually going to say is offset multiplied by 2. So we get the offset on both sides. And height. Um, let's fix that. Height, we're going to want character window rec. Uh, so I'll have to type this one. And we're going to minus, well, we're going to have to minus the 50 here. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now. We might have to come back and retweak stuff. And it looks like we'd also put GUI content in there. Uh, for now, I'm just going to close it off. And then I'm going to add my end group down here. Just so we know where the group begins and ends. Now, if we were to start this off, I'm going to put this actually at 0, 0 now. And I'm still going to leave it at 50 width and 25 for height. 
Uh, let me see, did I save it? Yes, I did. I have a few errors here, so I'll, I'll go through and fix those. So it cannot be applied to offerings of type Unity Engine Rect float. Okay, let's see here. And right here, while we specified the Rect, we didn't specify what part of the Rect we want to work with. And for this one, we want the width. And for this one, we want the height. So we'll just clear those up. Everything's went away for the error. So let's start this back up. And when we hit a tribute, uh, it doesn't look like it's down quite low enough. Uh, so let's go down a little bit lower. Uh, maybe another, well, this is, let's, let's just move down another 10. So we'll say 60 and of course, you know, whatever you increase, you'll want to increase there. Uh, we should pop that out later to be a variable. Uh, honestly, I'm not too worried about it because I know eventually down the road I will be switching over to using the UI toolkit uh, that Prime 32 has just put out. Oh, sorry, Prime 31. Uh, I'm just waiting for the container classes to be done. So we'll just keep adjusting till we get it to the spot we like. And, well, I'm going to go down another five. Now this all has to do with styling and of course once you start throwing in your your GUI styles you probably want to have different sizes. I already know uh, well this is fine for originally what I wanted uh, as far as layout goes. I already know it's, it's not going to be exactly what I want. But that's fine. Let's get all the functionality working and as far as styling and everything else goes it's, it'll come easy after. So that's where I want it to start. So let's come down. Uh, I have this label set here. I know I'm going to want some sort of loop to iterate through all of my attributes. And currently for my game, I believe I have seven attributes. Uh, but let's take a look at how they're being loaded up. Uh, so right here, uh, we have the ability to load all your attributes up at once. And can we load one up? Yes, we can. Uh, we can also load one attribute up at a time. So it's going to take an attribute name and it's going to return an attribute. And the one where we grab all of them at once, um, well, we're actually returning an array of attributes. We don't really need to do that anymore. Uh, what we can do, uh, when I first wrote this, we didn't have our static instance of our character. Uh, so what we can do now is actually just assign the value that it gets to the proper place in our character's attribute array instead of just returning it. And that's actually a, a better way to do it. So I'm gonna put this down to avoid. I'm going to get rid of the return statement. And all we have to work with is what we have in here. So we should be able to now go PC dot instance dot and we're looking at attributes. So primary attributes and we'll just make a counter or use the index I should say and We'll just use the rest of this line. And that should be good enough for that. Uh, let me just look, look up here. Uh, we could switch this over to be the exact same way, but we'd have to pass in some sort of index so it, it knew where to go. Well, I guess not really, because since we're already passing in the attribute name, we could use that attribute name to go through our enumeration to actually get it. But I'm actually going to leave it like this. Uh, just so we have one way of just returning just an attribute instead of actually assigning it to our our player's attribute array. Uh, so that should be good for there. Uh, let's go ahead and go back into our PC script. Actually, let's make sure there's no errors. Nothing popped up. And I'm going to go back up to well, shrink these down. I know it's only saving one line, but it just makes me feel better. Okay, so we're going to shrink this down. We don't need to look at the hair. We don't need to look at skin. We don't need to look at the combo of hair. Uh, scale. All right, right here. Now, it really doesn't matter where you put it in here because the stuff so far that we have listed uh, affects the appearance of our character. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and put it at the start. And we could make a function down here to load it up as well. But we really don't need to since all we really want to do is call this function for here and let it do let it uh, let it do its thing. So I'm just going to copy this in. 
So it's game settings two dot load. Uh, I think it was attributes. Make sure it's plural. And that should be it. Uh, just for quick testing, I'm gonna throw a D. Well, actually, yeah, I guess we we should. I'm gonna throw a quick for loop in here. Well, I just want to actually test to make sure that they're actually loading up right. So I am just gonna test one of them. And what I want to test is my primary attributes. And I'm just going to test the first one. And I'm just going to get one of the values. So let's go for something that should have something in there. Uh, it does have a name property. I'm not sure if I actually ever assign anything to the name. But let's check it out. And if that works out, then it should come out to be uh, might, I believe. So nothing showed up here. Uh, I believe this is actually the line. Yeah. So it doesn't actually look like I'm using that uh, particular variable for the class. So I'll just pick another one. EXP level. That should have something in it. So I'm going to go ahead, clear it off, start it up. And there we go. So it is actually loading something. And in our next tutorial, we'll go ahead and set it up so that when we open up our, our character panel, it's going to iterate through and uh, display all of our vitals for us in, or sorry, all of our attributes for us in our tribute panel. And I guess right beside it, we'll also display the, the um, uh, adjusted base value. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little thumbs up button if you liked it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.